Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And the other day I was at a store and I noticed uh, these um, Bic Easy Reach lighters, the ultimate lighter they say. Um, and what it looks like is they just kind of added a chimney. I opened one to try it out here um, onto the top of a conventional Bic lighter. So you can kind of see the difference there. Um, and that allows, they've also restructured the way that you depress this and it uh, looks like it's got maybe an electronic ignition in there. I'm not sure. Um, it, it, I think these were $2.99 on sale, down from $3.99 because they're new, so they're trying to get them out. It says up to 50% more lights. I, compared to what is my question. But anyway, um, what it is is a, a whole new top end on a Bic lighter. So conventional... Bic design. It is it is reshaped. It looks like I don't know if there's more or less fuel in it. Um, it seems like it's slightly smaller volume. But anyway, when you push this down, it lights up. So I hear a snap. So it might have some kind of a um, an electronic mechanism that um, fires off a spark because um, there's no no rolling mechanism, no flint and steel, if you will. That, re that are required here. Um, it, it can fire quite easily on its own, like you could set it off. It doesn't have one of these little safety things that has to be depressed as well as spun. Um, but I like, the, I like the design. And the reason is, a lot of times when you're using something like this, especially if your hands are cold, you know, when we're going back to survival situations or um, camping, overlanding, that kind of stuff, um, you've got your thumb right next to it. And most of us have burned our thumbs. Plus, the, when, even when it's going, you know, if you try to stick the, the flame in somewhere, say you've got a little, um, you know, wood stove or something, even just a regular camp stove, and you, you know, or even stick it down upside down, you know, how long can you do that before you end up burning your thumb? And even worse, you throw on a glove, which isn't a bad idea when you're um, in the cold environment. I can start this thing, but there's a good chance, you know, I'm going to end up burning my glove, which isn't a good thing. Um, however, this guy here, all day long, fairly safe. Um, there is a warning that this chimney thing can get hot. Of course it can. It's got a flame. And also, I've noticed there's a plastic cover over this. I don't know what that is. I'm going to cut it off just to see what that, what's going on here. So it appears to be some kind of a wrap. And I'm wondering, is that, is it color or is there more? Yeah, it looks like color. Interesting. So, what do we have going on here? There we go. There's the empty Bic lighter. Colorless lighter. Now, I like the colors. I got an orange one here. Apparently, I can make my own orange ones like I have in the past with with these extended Bic, um, Bic lighters. Let's see if this one works anymore. Yeah, these are great. Um, they cost you know, $4.99, something like that. I use them all the time. Um, I have uh, some others that I can refill, but these, get the Bic ones over. I've had better luck than the Scripto or whatever, however you pronounce the other one. But anyway, that's interesting um, that they just put a, uh, a skin over the top of it rather than the actual plastic being that color. Might be a lot easier. Um, and I appreciate the orange ones. You might notice I like the orange stuff. In fact, if you're looking for an orange lighter and you're wondering where they are, here they are. I've got them all. Um, I hope they make a small version. That would be kind of cool if they could add that feature to their little, little lighters so you could have a a tiny little chimney one that was actually about the size of a regular Bic lighter. Um, I did carry this thing around for a while and try it, you know, in my pocket. I, it was noticeable. I mean, that is a um, a longer lighter by about another third, um, but it's a great design to be able to zap out a flame and then, you know, no matter what the orientation, you can safely hold it. Um, this is still my favorite, of course, my Snap-on. Um, you can see that flame there. Um, this is a, a torch. It's a totally different thing. Although this is close to a torch, the way that's coming out of there, um, it's not. It's not a pressurized torch um, with with the 
kind of the same force that's going on with uh, the um, you know well the the heating torches we use in the shop or things like this. Um, but it's definitely an advantage over this. Although I did notice if I try to light it when I'm moving that it goes out. Um, this one sometimes I can get this to stay on a little bit longer. So I'm just simulating wind. Um, this obviously um, has a little lip here that I can put a rubber band or a, some people use zip ties to kind of keep it from deploying in a pocket for a or a say, uh, an emergency kit. And on this one, it looks like it's even easier just throw a rubber band around that um, to keep this from going down. Um, it's pretty easy, which is good. Anyway, if you're looking for lighters, this might be uh, the ticket, especially if you build um, survival kits or we're going into winter or hunting season or whatever, and you want to carry your um, carry a lighter that actually has some more features than the traditional rock-solid Bic that you can always count on. Anyway, with that, Doc out.